why you should do this. You know, I think everyone is scared of lifting weights. I don't know why. I've been trying to sell this now for 10 years, right? I mean, we've got products, we make videos, like everyone should lift weights. It's, it's the fountain of youth, whatever. But everyone's like scared of it. Um, the way I like to tell people and the way I want you to have a framework in your mind because you're going to run into problems as a lifter is you're born and, you know, your mom's giving you milk and you start getting stronger and every day you get stronger. And this is why babies are crawling and then they start to walk, right? And they start to do stuff. And as they're growing up, they're getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger, really regardless of what they're doing. Moms like might be feeding them French fries from McDonald's, not even healthy food. But like if you just feed the baby, boom, the baby gets bigger and stronger. And this happened to all of us. And you're on this trajectory. But that trajectory stops. And some of you guys know this better than me even, right? But it stops. So it can stop as early as the 20s. I would say in my gyms in California with a lot of tech, I had a lot of tech guys. And there were guys that grew up like gaming and sitting at computers and laying on couches all day and like not being active. Like in the South, like I'm working on shrimp boats, I'm cleaning windows, I'm doing stuff. But like these guys, active members of society, but not active physically. Um, and so you'd start to see like loss of range of motion, loss of physical strength. 30s, this also happens. Um, I experienced this now at 35. Like, man, I like to run once or twice a week. We'll talk that when we talk programming. I went two weeks without running. I just got really busy. And on Wednesday, I squatted and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go for a run. And I ran for like two and a half miles. Nothing, right? Like, and slow, like 10 minute mile pace. Just like, I wanna move. The next day I was like wrecked because I hadn't done it. I mean, not really, but like I woke up, I was like, man, why am I so sore? Because I hadn't done it, right? So age, as you age, you know, these things, you're not as productive as you are. And then 40s, 50s, what happens is I call it, it's the avoidance phase where you want to do stuff, but when you go to do it, it hurts. Maybe something hurts when you get started or you have a minor injury. And so you self-preservation, you go, well, I don't want to, make this any worse so i just won't do it so people stop doing things um and they do less so like in the 20s and 30s maybe they have issues but like they still think they can do it in the 40s and 50s it seems to shift and then 60s like gets kind of sad for me and it's also awesome because when you get those people that's when the biggest change is but it's like they just surrender they're just like oh well I'm in my 60s. Oh, I used to be able to do that. Hey, you want to go for a hike? Uh, no, I'm, I'm 65, right? And I, I don't say that to, you know, make fun of my elders. It, it's sad to me, though, because, like, it it's, doesn't have to be that way. And so you have this, like, degradation that's, that's happening, but you can do something about it. And so I always give the example of my mother because it's probably the closest to me. I, I would say my greatest achievement as a coach is getting my, my parents to lift, right? Like th that is like the, yeah, that thing. I don't mean that, I don't, I don't want to pat it back, but I just, for me, like that's honestly what I'm most proud of. I've, I've coached NFL players. I've coached pro bowlers. I've coached like all types of people up, 600 pound deadlifts, you know, whatever. But like, oh, my mom's strong. That's important, right? And so the reason I bring that up is I told her, she came to my gym in California. She didn't want to come to my gym in California. I like guilt tripped her. Like you have to at least come and see my business. So she came in. She was sitting on a bench like that, just watching me coach the class. It finished, she went to stand up and she pushed off the bench with her, with her hands. I said, mom, get up off that bench without using your hands. She's 63, fit, runner her whole life, not overweight, right? I said, get up off without, and she did, but she was weak. I was like, mom, you gotta get strong. I was like, you know, I wanna get married. I haven't even had kids yet. I know you already have 15 grandkids from my older siblings, but like, you know, I want you to build into their lives. And it started to register with her. And so that day we got her squatting and I think she squatted a 15 pound bar. Um, and it was, it was awful, right? Cause she's like a Southern belle, like never been in a weight room, done aerobics and that kind of stuff. Like this stuff seems like so foreign. Um, I mean, now she's like a 240 pound deadlifter, right? And she's like, I can't believe like how my life has changed. Like she's like, I mean, they, now, my relationship with my parents was like uh, on a novice linear progression, right? Because it was, we had like not only just a common thing to talk about, but they understood like, oh, this is, this is life-changing stuff. So I say all that to say, 
as you age, you want to maintain control. You want to maintain the ability to do whatever you want. Lifting allows you to do that, um, but it's hard. And every time you do it, it gets harder. And every time you do it, you'll have doubt and wonder if you should continue to do it. I still experience this. Like I deadlifted right there yesterday and I pulled my first rep and I was like, this is awful, right? And then I ended up doing three sets of six or whatever my program had. Um, but it, it, it doesn't get better, right? You see someone who's strong, you're like, oh, that guy figured it out. Like it's not bad. I'm dealing with a shoulder injury right now. I do all my squats in that safety squat bar over there right now because the low bar's irritating me. But I'm zoomed out and I realize, one, most of these little like things that creep up are temporary, right? And if you work through them, they, they, they go away. And two, I'm not, just because something hurts, I'm not gonna surrender and allow myself to, to, to lose physical strength. Um, so I just like to give you that speech because I think it's really important. And as a coach and having coached a lot of people now, the average life cycle of a lifter is about five to six months. And, you know, two things happen. And when I say average life cycle, I mean of me coaching them, right? Two things happen at like that five to six month mark. One, I was good enough that I made you a lifter. And I don't say that to Pat, I just mean me. I mean, me, the starting strength coach, a coach that knows what they're doing, makes you a lifter. In six months, you train with me for six months, you know exactly what to do, what to eat, how to program, something hurts, right? Like you know what to do and you're, you're on your own. So you might at six month mark say, Grant, it's been great. You're fun. It's exciting. I like when you yell at me, but like, I got it. And I live in Clemson and this drive to Greenville takes 40 minutes and the workout's an hour and a half. And my wife's like, you got 30 minutes there. You work out for an hour and a half. You drive 30 minutes back. We never see you at night. We haven't had dinner with you in forever. I appreciate it. I'm going to go lift. And I love that. Right. I actually love that. The second thing is that the five month mark, six month mark is when it actually gets really hard. And some of you will think today it's really hard and it, and it will be but it actually gets hard, right? It actually gets to the point where, hey, if I wanna get stronger, am I blacking out my room at night? Am I improving my sleep? Am I fixing my nutrition? Am I avoiding alcohol? Like, am I, am I actually optimizing these things? And so at that point, other people just are like, you know what, like, the majority of the world just like rides bicycles and goes on walks. That sounds way better <laughs> than this like heavy deadlifting stuff. Let me go do that. And, and they go and head that way. So, but for you guys, if you have perspective of like, hey, I want to be strong and fit for my life, then you keep looking.